here and you just Hello people, member loves here and welcome back to Let's Play Factorio Episode 2. Sorry guys, it's been a while since the last episode. I have been really, really, really busy actually. Um, just barely yesterday. I was super busy. I didn't have time at all to make a video. Um, because let me tell you what happened. I woke up at seven. I skipped school. Went to my dad's work for five for ten hours. Then went to my friend's birthday party for five hours, and then came back home. And I like totally broke my knee. I didn't actually break it, but I wasn't able to rock for the rest of the night. And then I woke up this morning and realized, oh my gosh, it got really swollen, and now there's a huge bruise on it. <laughs> so I'm trying not to really move around that much. I'm trying to give it a rest so that way it can heal. But, anyway, and actually the day before that, I was going to film this episode, but then Andrew came over, so we finished Not Water, which is now uploaded, so I've been super, 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 super busy for the past two days, so I wasn't able to make a fast choreo video. I'm sorry, but we're here, we're going into, what was it, Capron Giants. Oh, gosh. Uh, you, you don't know, guys, but when I'm not recording, I get to play this game in better graphics. So it's weird coming back to the extra low. And is it just me, or is the game kind of running low on low frame rate? I think it is. Uh-oh. <laughs> anyway, guys, last we left off, uh, we just barely created, if I remember correctly, the steam machine. So, this time, today, this episode... Um, let's just update everything real quick. So we have electric mining drills, electric inserters, and then we'll just have the coal's only purpose for furnaces. That's what we're going to do today. Well, right now at least. So, we need some iron. I've got 28. It's enough to create one. Alrighty, good. Goody, goody, good, good. So now that this is going to be an electric thing, though, we won't need any of that. And then I need to move my little recording thing to there. Alrighty. So guys, I'm going to do what I did in the last video also is just not really talk about the game because it's kind of hard to think about topics of this game. So, um, I do want to keep talking about films. The films that I'm working on and the channel. So, but just barely, actually, guys, I set up a thing called an AdSense account on YouTube. It basically allows me to start making money from YouTube, which is great. It'll take a week, actually, though, for it to get all set up. At least that's, according to YouTube, that's what they said. It'll take one week, and then it'll all be set up and ready to go. So, I will have to wait one week. But that's fine, okay? And really quickly, we did it. We got an electric mine drill, so now... This, our iron production only needs coal for these inserters and the stone furnace. That's it. And that's, that should also speed up the, the thing with the, 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 um, the thing with the thing, you know, the thing and the thing. Yeah, that. Okay. Oh, yeah, wait. Actually, you know, forget what I was going to say because I'll talk about it later. There is one thing I was thinking about. Um, I created a new Factorio game again. Factorio is one of these games where you'll build an entire factory and you're about to beat the game and you're like, you know what? This factory's crap. Let's start over. <laughs> so I just really do this and I found a much better way of harnessing uh, minerals. So we're actually going to do that right now. We're going to fix this. And I found a much better way for steam machines. So we're also going to do that. Fortunately, the stone rock's kind of in the way. And you can't break stone rocks until, like, cars. At least that's the only way I know how to break these. That is the only way I know how to break stone rocks. Cause they're just too strong. Can I shoot them? Oh, I can just shoot them. Shoot them. I don't know how much ammo I have. How much? Six magazines left. All right, shoot the rock. Shoot it down. Shoot it down. Shoot it. Keep shooting it. Okay. Oh come on! It has one health left. Oh, that's so annoying. It's okay. I have to just create more magazines. It's fine. Okay. Boop. There we go. So, basically how this works is you have stuff like this positioned. 
So we won't need that coal again. Okay. And they each lead into their own furnace. And then there's going to be a conveyor belt that goes across. So basically what's going to happen, there's going to be like five of these all burning into furnaces. Okay. And then they're going to have grabbers which grab onto conveyor belts which will go into a thing. That's how it's going to work. And I actually want to reposition this. So we have it like, hold on, let me think, like that, okay, and you're going to see why in the future. But for now, this is how it's going to be, and we're going to change it up a tad bit, because we're actually going to have it go on an ore thing, and then, boop, we're going to have our first electric in SATA. That's right, we're moving on up, we're moving on up, moving on up, that's a song, right? From like Greece or something? Right? 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 I'm gonna keep saying right until one of you agrees, okay? That will not stop. Alright, anyway. So, now we have it like that. You want part of that. We need another inserter. I need more iron. Well, poop. I haven't used that language since first grade. Okay. There we go. Alrighty. Sorry, guys. I went talking. So, anyway, what was I talking about? Films, 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 films. What was I talking about? Films, 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 films. Oh, yeah. AdSense account, actually. Never mind. So, I will be actually getting paid from YouTube pretty soon, which would be so cool. That would be cool. I mean,. Admittedly, it's not ideal. I mean, by not ideal, I mean, sorry, that phrase, that is phrase wrong. When I say not ideal, I mean, like, that's not what I'm doing YouTube for. I'm doing YouTube just to entertain people and just to have some fun playing video games and being a funny guy. That's the only reason I do YouTube. It's just so I can have an excuse to play video games and be funny because, you know, that's the kind of guy I am. That's really my reason. But, you know... I mean, that's so cool thinking that maybe I could get paid for being for playing video games. Ha! Hey, that <coughs> my voice just turned off as soon as I wanted to do. Ha! Take that first grade teacher. You can make money off of playing video games, and who you said I couldn't. <laughs> Actually, you said you didn't say I couldn't. You just said you know. Um, I'm just, I'm just gonna leave now, so, yeah, bye, yeah, bye. Anyway, so look at this, guys, we've got all this is totally fine, okay? Because we don't, we, blah, 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 blah. the only thing we need coal for is the furnace. That's it, okay? Sorry, I haven't been do, I haven't been making gaming videos for quite a while, for like two weeks, so I need to get back in the groove of making gaming videos, which will take a while. But you know, that's just how we roll. Yay. Anyway. So now we need to update my copper thing, so the only coal that needs is the Shinibidizinaba, the furnace. That's gibberish for furnace. That's the first language I, I speak, guys, because English is my second language, French is my third, and like I said, just barely, gibberish is my first. So now Snapper's got a I smell a little bit. Snapper has a business in a peep, Janazla, Zeno, Hadazana, Habudu, Hanu. Actually, that sounded more like the Sims language. Gosh, I turned into a Sim instead of speaking gibberish. Anyway, so, we got that working, now let's change our copper, so I was just waiting for some iron, now we can get a new thingamapop, uh, uh, an electric mining drill. Now we can't really do what I'm going to do with iron for copper, because it's too small, in fact the only copper we will be able to do that with is like, way over here, there, or if we really want to do it, Later, when we have trains, we're going to have to do it up there. 
but trains are far, far away. We haven't even started a single research, so that's far away, and that's that's just in the dream world of train, trains, trains, trans, trans, farmers. Can I just say something real quick, actually, guys? I I've seen only parts of Transformers. I've never seen the full Transformers, but from all the parts I've seen from Transformers, I really don't like it. I know. How shocking. A person doesn't like Transformers. Whoa. Crazy, huh? Anyway, but yeah, I've never really... From the parts I've seen of Transformers, I was never really a big fan of them. All my friends were, of course, huge fans. I forgot I could do that. I didn't. I don't have to destroy these things. I can just click. Anyway, all my friends were huge fans of Transformers. I never saw the whole thing. And from the parts I saw, like I said, I didn't really like. Shocking things are being discovered. Oh, I forgot about my stone thing. Holy cow, that was like 200 stone. Every time I go and pick up a bunch of stuff on conveyor belts, I have to make a sucking sound like... <sighs> Fortunately, that's just me sucking in air, so eventually I can't breathe. Yeah. Don't try that at home, kids. You'll die. Pretty spooky, actually. I, I don't need to destroy it. Gosh, me. Come on. Boop. Boop. And on, boop, boop, and boop. Oh, got it, yes. There we go. Alrighty, sorry. <laughs> so, we've updated everything now. The only things that need coal are furnaces. That's it. Everything else is, oh, never mind. <laughs> is electric. Sure, I mean, isn't it really a point of changing this? I've already, you know, done all that. Yeah, there is a point of actually changing it, so I, I Alrighty, destroy all that. Coal production is going to stop for a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Okay. Now we want it so we get them as much coal as possible. By the way, guys, forgot to say this. Um, the green square is where it's mining. So right here we would get all the coal. Right here, I think. Yeah. Right here we missed 2,000 coal. Okay. So this is where we want to mine. So we want to get as much, much, much coal. Gosh, I'm not mean to press that button. Mm, as much coal as possible. And that is gibberish for possible. No, that's just me for possible. My language. It's not gibberish. It just is my language. Anyway, so there we go. Look at that, guys. We're doing it. We're making progress. This is awesome. So, we have a steady income of everything. That's good. We've updated all that. It's a steady income. How is our electricity doing? If you hover over one of your poles that's connected to, like, I call it the main electricity thing, where this is where all my machines are connected. This line of electric poles is where everything is connected. So if you find that, you'll see electric demand satisfaction. Okay, but if you click it, you can see everything. So consumption and production. So we're doing good. We're producing just as much as we're consuming. So that's good. My guy, my steam engine, we don't even need two because this guy only needs to work a bit, okay? He's not at full performance because he doesn't need to work at full performance. Ah. Well, would you look at this? We still have one more thing that needs to be updated. This is a lot of coal right here, actually. What we gotta do is turn this into what we're gonna do for the iron. So that way we can have a whole bunch of coal. Okay, we want as much coal as possible. 64 coal right there. That's a lot. Well, no, not 64. 64,000 coal right there. That is plenty of coal. There we go. So. Now I can say everything's basically, well, everything is now fully automatic. We can just sit back and relax. Unless we want to progress in the game, then we actually have to do some work. So, 
Now, guys, what we have to do is create a laboratory. Okay? This is what we're going to create. We do not have assemblies machines, right? Yeah. Okay. And now what we're going to do is is research automation. Okay? And you're going to see why, okay? As soon as I start researching it. So we're going to create a lab. Just wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Boom. Alrighty. So now we're going to place the lab down in power because it needs power. So now what we're doing, guys, is let me explain how the technology works in this game. In case you didn't see the check this out. Basically, you choose the technology. Now if you see this, you'll see there's a timer. It's kind of hard to see. But what you have to do is you have to put one science pack one in a lab, wait 10 seconds, and then do that 10 times, and then you'll research automation. Now this gets pretty extreme later. Like later you have to do it 300 times, and it's 30 seconds, and you need two different types of stuff. And way later in the game it gets extreme. Like where is the final research? There's a thing called rocket science. Here you go. You need this to beat the game. You need one of every single thing. Wait 60 seconds and do that a thousand times. So, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to research automation. So that way I don't have to craft two things a thousand times and wait forever. We can make it so it's all automatic if we just get automation. It's the beauty of this game. Everything can be automatic. Okay, we need five more. Boop. So there we go. Now we are researching automation. And as soon as we get automation, then we can start making our research automatic. Hence the name. This is why I love this game. Everything can be automatic. It's just so great. This game is so great. They deserve all the monies. The developers deserve the developers diverge all the monies. I know English. Shut up. Okay, just two more science facts. One more. Now, come on, come on. Alrighty. Now we just play the waiting game. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. Okay, in the meantime, we're actually just going to craft some more electric money doodles. Let me show you what I have in mind of how to make our mining efficient. So now that we got one side, we do it on the other side. Ahem, see? So now, we're being totally efficient. Okay? Because you always want your conveyor belts to be full on both sides, okay? That's how you want your conveyor belts. That's efficient, okay? So now, I think this guy is going to start getting a little full, and that's fine. You know, this is going to start getting backed up. That's fine. Back up edge can sometimes be good. Most of the time, it's really bad. But there we go. We have automation. So now, guys, what we have is assembly machines, which will craft stuff automatically for us. All we have to do is give them ingredients, they'll craft something for us. And a long hand inserter. Basically all we do is like reach over a conveyor belt. That's what it does. It's a long hand inserter, hence the name. Okay, what do we want next? Probably logistics is the best new thing to get, because then we get splitters, underground belts, and fast inserters. Then again, there's some other stuff that's good, like armor, military. We could do with military so we can start defending ourselves, and turrets so we can also start defending ourselves. But, let's get logistics next. Here we go. Now comes the hard part of this game. Making factories that will do stuff for you automatically. As I was saying, <laughs> you didn't hear that. As I was saying... We need to make now an assembly machine and a crap ton of conveyor belts. A crap ton, okay guys? So let's just craft as many conveyor belts as we can right now. Hmm. Yeah, we need a faster stone furnace. I was gonna say if we had a splitter then we could make it some multiple furnaces 
we're going to do that, which we will do in the f future. But we need, but, well, no, we don't. We don't need splitters. So what am I saying? Here we go. Never mind. I know how to make this more efficient. I just had an idea, okay? We're going to move all this out of the way real quick. Okay, that lost power. Oops. Reconnect that. Here's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to have a long conveyor belt like that. Then, we're going to do what I said we're, I was going to do. Have multiple furnaces. Boom, boom, boom. Then, inserters, like so. Now, we do need splitters, actually, to fuel these guys, but... Well, I'm working on that. Okay, let me just gather up all this coal. Now, our coal still is not both sides of the conveyor belt. That, the both sides of the conveyor belt was just old coal. So, I'll, we will work on that in the future. Okay, right now is this. Um, We need more... Oh, gosh, no. What, what do you need to craft? Oh, I crafted a thingamabop. Great. I love thingamabops because they're so fun. Okay. Oh, it's a repair pack. Okay, thank you. Okay, so now, we're going to do that. And, this, we're going to need a, more. Make it so it all goes into one chest. And, sorry. Not, like I said, I haven't been commentating for a while, so I'm trying to explain what I'm doing while doing it at the same time. And it's hard, okay? Here we go. Right now, we're just gonna pick off all the iron. Like this, and then boop. 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 And there we go. Now we have completely increased our iron production. Now our iron production is much better now, okay? We're doing, we're having, it's, mu it's much more efficient. Alrighty, I'm probably gonna have to end this video soon, but maybe I can try just getting the assembly machine started, and then I can end the video or something. Anyway, do you see how much more efficient this is? This is beautiful, okay? This is called efficiency, right here. Now, it's not... The furnaces are not being fueled automatic, but, you know, one step at a time, okay? One step at a time. Actually, I know how we're gonna use the long... I know how we're going to fuel these guys. We can do it right now. Need more conveyor belts, though. Oh, awesome. I don't need splitters because I thought of a way of doing this. The beauty of this game is actually it does kind of teach you some real-life skills you need to know, which is problem-solving. That's one thing video games always teach you, you know. The great thing about video games is they say, you know, it, they're just wasting your time. You don't learn anything from them. But that's actually kind of false because... You learn how to problem solve, especially in Factorio. You have to really know how to solve all your problems with your factory and how to do it, you know, efficiently and costing as least amount of materials as possible, just like real life. You know, you want to do your job, like, efficiently. You want to get more money from it. You want to do it good. And that's kind of what Factorio teaches you. Well, video games. My voice kind of decreased. Anyway, this is good actually. I'll be able to show you guys what the long hand inserters are for. So let's say I want to grab that coal, right? We just use a long hand inserter. Okay, now we can grab that out. And look at that! Boom! Beautiful. Now we can take all my coal back. I want it all back. Give me it. Okay, so now we put a long hand inserter. Oh gosh, I don't know how this is going to work out. We need to power those guys. Oh gosh, how am I gonna do this? How? How do I do this? How do I? How? Um, maybe one furnace is not gonna be fueled. One furnace for now until we get underground things is not going to be fueled. That that is this one. I will feel that automatically. But there we go. See? Now, it may look like a mess, but this is beauty. That's what this is. This is just beauty.
But there we go. Alrighty, this is looking really good now. So now, we have totally created our iron production efficiency super high. We put that efficiency like five times better than it was earlier. How are we doing on electricity? We are doing um, really good actually. Our guy, we still blah, blah, blah. we still don't need a second steam engine, but when we do, I'll show you guys a really easy way of getting a second steam engine. Well, of getting large amounts of steam engines easily. Okay, so I'll show you that when we need it. But for right now, I'm swimming in iron. This is great. Awesome. Ooh, burped. Sorry. I don't know if you could hear that because it was kind of quiet, but I burped. Sorry. Pardon me, you know, I just ate right before I made this video. Ugh. Anyway, so now we've totally increased our iron production so we could get an assembly machine. And what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to make it so it makes red vials automatically for us. Actually, we're going to need two for red vials. Because a red vial needs science pack, um, a science pack one, or red vial, like I was saying, needs copper and an iron gear wheel. To create iron gear wheels, we're just going to need some simple iron, so that will be right there. See? This will be super easy. This is definitely the easiest pack to make because it's the first pack to make. You know, it's supposed to be easy. Now, question is, we don't have split. I mean, the thing is, we don't have splitters, so we can't, we can't just take the iron from here. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to steal most of the iron by most I mean all what we need we're gonna do what we did for those old splitters basically we're just gonna fill this up so the conveyor belt's full think think there we go so now it's not taking anymore and now we need two of these actually three no four boom boom and then wait for the final one Boom, never mind, we only need... Oh, wait, no! Boom. Okay. So, we need to now steal some copper. And we're just going to do the exact same thing again using longhand inserters. Holy cow, longhand inserters are being really useful today. Lucy, give me a second. Okay, baby girl? Thank you. Wait, did I place that correctly? No. I need to place it like this? Shoot, no, I need to place it where the conveyor belt is. Um. Um. Okay. Here's how I'm going to do it. So that should grab. Oh, no, no, shoot. <laughs> grab that two copper. Grab it, grab it. Nope, that's iron. Oh, there we go. Here's how I'm going to do this. I'm going to need some more conveyor belts. And some more iron. Thank you, 100 iron. Shouldn't I already put it in? Okay, good. So, I'm gonna put it, come on, need more open space. Right. Oh, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing in a bit. Oh! Shoot, why is this not. Oh, I put this the wrong way around. It's like, why isn't this grab a cop? I mean, coal. That's why. Okay, we're on. I fixed that. We're good. Coal production kind of halted for a second. Anyway, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a long hand inserter, bring that downwards, and go boop. Okay, and then another long hand inserter. See, you gotta solve problems. That's a little too high. Um, gotta start this problem again. Okay, I know how to fix this. I know how to fix this. I can fix this. I can fix this. Uh, can I? Okay, this is gonna, I'm gonna do this. I'm going to have to do this lightning fast. Otherwise, some weird stuff's gonna happen, okay, kids? Okay? Alrighty? Sound good? Good! Actually, I'm gonna need this grabber to be lightning fast. Grab, 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 grab! Ah, oh, 
why that's what I thought was going to happen. Dope. <laughs> well, shoot, this is going to create a problem. I'll tell you what I'm going to do to fix this. I'm just going to have a chest that's full of coal and copper. That's how I'm going to fix it. There we go. And the question is, is this gaining or decreasing? This is staying... Is it decreasing? So we need to increase our copper production or get splitters. Okay. I'm at the 31 minute mark, so I should probably end this video. Why isn't it grabbing any? Oh, that's why! That's why it's not working! There we go, I fixed it! We're good! And now, guys, the final touch, we put a lab down. You're going to turn that off. Okay, okay, here we go. I'm ready to turn it back on now because watch this. Ready? boo We need more electricity, right? Yeah, we do. Okay, good. I actually get to show you guys how to do this. So, let me show you how to make a super, so I'm not going to be able to do it without splitters. Poop. Alright, well it's going to be a bit odd for now. We're going to have to redo this later. Okay, everything should have just... Okay. Yep. Um, everything just kind of turned off for now. Well, basically what you guys can do is if you just put multiple boilers together... Oh, this is not going to work at all. Okay, I'm just going to put 50 in here. Okay. Then, you'll have pipes full of hot water already ready to go into a steam engine smart huh huh yeah I actually just found this in a YouTube video but I, I watched YouTubers play Factorio so I found this and I was like and I saw them do that I was like oh oh that's cool oh, okay I get it that, that's a good way and okay, we're gonna do that we need one more pipe there we go, two steam engines. So, we're not, unfortunately though, we won't, this may go off pretty dang soon until we get, um, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to have to manually power these steam engines until we get logistics. But anyway, I'm actually going to save game, guys. Here we go, Capron Giants saved. I, guys, am going to end this video here. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next Let's Play Factorio video. Bye! Best part of Jack's day! <gasps> oh!